Phylogenomics is a branch of evolutionary science tasked with working out the relationships between organisms, both living and extinct. This is done by building family trees known as phylogenies, by comparing genetic data, the information stored within the cells of all organisms. These trees can provide us with insights into what ancestral life was like. All modern animals share a common ancestor, a single species whose descendants evolved over time to give rise to the wide diversity we see today. Therefore, a major question in phylogenomics is, what was this last common ancestor like? In answering this, two competing hypotheses have emerged and continue to be argued over. Either this ancestor resembled sponges, incredibly simple animals, or tenophores, jellyfish-like animals which are relatively complex. If this ancestor was sponge-like, then we can say that the earliest animals were simple and that complex nervous muscle and digestive systems evolved in the group containing the tenophores and all other animals. If this ancestor was tenophore-like, then we don't know where in the tree this complexity arose. All we can say is that early animals were already quite complex and that sponges must have undergone an evolutionary reversal to lose a great deal of their inherited complexity. To answer this question, Phylogenomicists first have to read and compare the genomes of modern species. Then, to produce a phylogeny, they need to tell their computers the rules of evolution. These models of evolutionary change can be hugely complicated and it is these that are ultimately responsible for the different results that previous studies have produced. Now, a new study, led by the University of Bristol, has evaluated the performance of each model used in the sponge tenophore argument. It's been shown that the better fitting models support sponges as being the sister group to all other animals. We can therefore say that the last common ancestor of these two groups was probably sponge-like and that it did not possess the complex anatomical systems of all other animals alive today. So the next time you're using a sponge in the bath, just consider how far evolution has taken us.